What's going on guys? Eric Garf from the Eric World Network here to bring you some more Super Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U news. It's been a little bit of a while since I've done this kind of a video, so apologies if I feel like I'm a, I'm a bit rushed into it. I, it's been so long, so I kind of lost my touch a little bit. But we're going to go straight into it, man. There's a lot of stuff that I've missed out on, obviously, so I'm going to be trying to make up with these videos as we go along. But since I was on that huge trip with those other Poketubers and whatnot, well, I shouldn't say Poketubers, but I mean all those other YouTubers and whatnot, um, I kind of fell off the ball a little bit with the reporting thing. So I'm about to talk to you guys about a recent leak on Amazon, which has everybody talking right now, along with another pick of the day, the Sakurai release, which was actually interesting, that revealed a new mode that we still have no idea what it is yet right now. So some of you might be asking, what could possibly leak on Amazon? Well, sometimes Amazon has listings of games and it reveals little features in them without them actually being out for a time, you know? So this is that same case. A game, well, Smash Brothers Wii U was listed on Amazon. However, in the description, it was listed with modes that have not been officially revealed by Nintendo yet. So I don't know if this was intentional by them or if it was an actual leak that wasn't supposed to be there, but it's still up on Amazon right now. <laughs> Still a little sick, man. That Ebola. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But um, but yeah, man. I mean, it's still up on Amazon right now. You can actually go to the link in the description to see the exact leak I'm talking about. So um, we're going to go to Amazon right here. And um, wait, though, that, that's not Amazon clearly. But um, here we go. So here we go. This is the Amazon um, listing for Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, as you can see here. Now here, there's really nothing funny said in this little paragraph at the top of the page. You're gonna have to scroll down to see where the leak came from. So it's in this part that gets people disturbed because this is all over the internet right now and everyone's wondering what the hell's going on. So here we go. Um, battle it out as Nintendo's greatest heroes on the Wii U console. Based off against the biggest roster of Nintendo All-Stars ever assembled, send your rivals flying with powerful attacks to all earn all new customizations and equipment that trick out your fighter's moves and stats, then power up and train intelligent amiibo figures to take on your friends. So nothing too revealing there so far. We pretty much know all this. The strange thing is in the next paragraph, and I think it's somewhat at the bottom, but I'll still read through it all so you guys can know what's going on. The multiplayer takedown, uh, excuse me, the multiplayer showdown you know and love is now on the Wii U console. Take on all comers of Mario, Mega Man, Sonic, and more gaming greats. Or tap Amiibo to the Wii U gamepad controller to train it up by battling or against it. Battling with or against it. You can even pit your Amiibo against the friends to see how your training methods stack up. Whether you're creating stages on the gamepad, competing in challenges crafted by Master Hand and Crazy Hand, or outwitting your opponents in a brand new board game mode, there's no doubt that the Ultimate Smash Brothers game has arrived. That's all that is important. The leaks, you probably know where the leaks start as well as I do, and before we go on and say maybe this is wrong, I don't think it would be wrong. I mean, this is a listing on Amazon. I think you have to have official clearance in order to put something like this up there. So I mean, I don't think we can say that the leaks are wrong. This is most likely 100% true and confirmed. So it says, that you're going to be able to create stages on the gamepad, which sounds amazing. I mean, I really hope it works out better than the whole Brawl stage creator because it was kind of lame. It also says that you'll be able to compete in challenges crafted by Master Hand and Crazy Hand. So what exactly is that supposed to mean? Compete in challenges crafted by the Master and the Crazy Hand? This fits in with something later on that I'm going to show you though. But the, the biggest confusion here is the whole thing with this new board game. Now, if you consider that the Wii U is way more powerful than the Nintendo Wii, however, they're not putting in the whole, you know, subspace emissary thing for the Wii U version, this means that there's going to be a lot of space to do things on the Wii U. So, with all that taking into account, it makes me wonder, if they're not putting the subspace emissary or a mode like that with all these cutscenes and all this like story basically taking up a lot of the space on the Wii U on the Wii U game, then what are they gonna fill all that space with? They're gonna have to, and, and, and you know, we're talking a lot of space, man. Especially considering the Wii U is better than the Wii, they got a lot of, they got a lot of space to fill on that damn game. So I'm wondering where the space was going to be converted to. Am I the only one? Was I the only one or were you guys wondering too? Leave in the comments below what you thought or what you think is going to be taking up that space of the Spub Space Emissary on the Wii U game when it comes out because that's not there anymore. So what, what's it going to be filled with? More modes? We'll see. But either way, a board game mode. This sounds actually really extensive, but I just don't want it to be somewhat of a little bit of a gimmick so that you don't touch it anymore once you play it once. I hope that's not the case, but 
Now the thing is, this Amazon description says that you have to compete in challenges crafted by the master hand and the crazy hand. Let's go to Sakurai's pick of the day, which I stopped covering because once the 3DS game came out, it didn't seem like he was revealing anything new until recently. Until recently. So of course the pick of the day we have some more um, exclusive content in terms of um, in terms of uh, I think this is an assist trophy. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't know exactly what that is right there, but I mean, it seems like it's going to be an assist trophy. But let's go to this. Now, this pick of the day was three days ago, and everyone's wondering what the hell this means. We're all confused here, and we're going to make this big screen. So look at this. It says Master Blurred and Crazy Blurred, and the game mode itself is blurred up at the top there. So we don't know what the hell this game mode is. Sakurai didn't explain anything further other than saying pick of the day. Now, what mode is this? with a question mark and an ex exclamation point. So, it looks weird, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, it looks really freaking strange. Like, what is this even going to entail? Who knows? But this might just have something to do with the Amazon leak where it says you're going to be competing in challenges crafted by Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Sure enough, challenges by Master Hand and Crazy Hand. What are these going to entail? How are the game modes going to work? That's where the mystery is. Everything's blurred out, so we know nothing currently. Sakurai knows how to play cat and mouse, man. Uh, something is telling me that the Wii U version is going to be bringing some crazy exclusives. We'll be seeing later on though. And um, if you haven't seen my nigga Relax the Lax, check him out because he made a recent video that's covered some crazy stuff in regards to this that go even deeper than I'm going to go in this video because I don't understand it as much. I gotta do more research before I make another video on this stuff. But um, so that was the Amazon leak and that's what's got everybody going crazy right now because it correlates with this pick of the day that we got from Sakurai, but we still don't know what the hell it means. There's also some sound files, however, from um, Super Smash Bros. 3DS that were found buried deep inside of the ROM somewhere that entail game modes being announced by the announcer which don't currently exist. And of these game modes, there's also an 8-player Smash. And the 8-player Smash could potentially be a thing that works out with the Wii U. I don't see why the Wii U version should be limited to 4 players because, you know, it's the better version at the end of the day. So, more power means more possibilities, and with more possibilities, an 8-player Smash is definitely viable. Let me see if I can find those sound files for you guys right now. Smash 3DS, hidden sound files. Okay, so hidden announcer clips from Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. These were all found in the ROM. Let's take a listen as to what these were. I never actually heard these myself. I probably should have done this earlier, but, you know, I was away in Delaware when all this happened. Or, or depend. I was in Delaware, I was in um, New York. Well, I live in New York, but I mean, I was, I was away with Kobe and the gang, so I wasn't exactly able to report on this stuff when it happened. So, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be trying to play and catch up, but I really want to hear what these audio clips are right now, so let's go into this. How do you do this? I ordered some new of those headphones. I ordered some new headphones that go over my ears because my other ones broke. But okay, so here we go. Hidden announcer clips. Let's do it. Oh, oh shit. Whoops. Okay, so here we go. Now, let's do that again. Boss battle. Boss battle. Tourney. Yellow team. Event match. Grab the coins. Special smash. The champion is. Eight player smash. Choose a me. Strange, isn't it? Strange, isn't it? Yeah, so I mean, these are all modes that some people are saying potentially were just cut from the entire game as a whole, or modes that are exclusively on the Wii U. I highly doubt the first option of the two. <coughs> Why cut all those modes from the game and limit the potential of it? I'm really hoping that Sakurai didn't do that and that these are actually going to be all modes and more that are included on the Wii U version. They all seem pr practical as that, so we'll see. The ones that really raise an eyebrow though are definitely the 8 player smash mode that he said. I mean, it pretty much tells you exactly right there what it means and there are also files, image files of player 1 through 8 found in the 3DS ROM as well too. These are probably things that are not going to be in the 3DS game, but the Wii U can definitely support them. We all know this. Now it's just a question of if they're actually in there. So what do you guys think of all this crazy information? The Amazon leak, the, the modes that were not revealed but kind of revealed by Sakurai, and all the, and the board game mode that's apparently going to be in the game. What do you guys think of all this information? It's a whole lot of stuff to take in, but it's still stuff that 
I'm sorry, I'm, I'm totally off my ball. But I mean, it's a lot of stuff to take in. But I mean, at the end of the day here, the game isn't out yet. So I guess we could be expecting stuff like this to be coming out on a regular basis. I mean, I'm hoping that there's going to be some, like, there's a whole Tower of Smash leak, and there's, there's some, a couple of leaks out there, but I don't give those any merit until I see some hard, solid evidence that they're true, simply because after the whole motherfucking leaker leak that compounded with the Ninka leak and whatnot, anything else that comes through, if it's just text on a page, I don't really trust it unless it comes from a somewhat reputable source, and I know some of those leaks did, but you know, we did have Zipso going around talking about that Mewtwo was in the game, who, Zipso is a very reputable source, and yet, it wasn't the case, or maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, who knows, but either way, I'm not doing any coverage on any leak that I feel is too vague or it's only text and doesn't have any merit to it. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's worth the time in my opinion, but maybe I will. If you guys really do want me to cover text leaks, you gotta let me know in the comments, and I guess I would if I see enough demand for it, but I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.